Since John represented just about all the major independent film companies, Showarama was a big deal. It was held at the Crown Center in Kansas City, and John would always make sure to get one of the two nicest suites in the hotel. Which was usually reserved, those suites were usually reserved for the stars we brought in, but you know, on one side there'd be a major star, the other side there'd be a star, in the middle there would be John Ship's suite, the Thomas and Ship suite. I would always end up getting one of the two nicest suites in the hotel. Usually it was the state suite. They had the state suite, the plaza suite, the presidential suite. They were all just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous places. And they were huge, with two or three bedrooms and a huge area for cocktail parties, get-togethers, great places. So uh, we would have just a constant party going on in, in the, the four or five days of the convention uh, there at the Crown Center. And one night, I remember uh, one of the guests next door was hearing through the walls the great fun we enjoyed in our suite, John Thomason's ship suite, and hey guys, can I come in, join you? Sure. It was Clint Eastwood. I took him out the next night. He wanted to eat at a typical Kansas City restaurant. I took Clint in a limo to a place called One Block West, which was near the plaza. It's now an advertising agency. Well, they were going to be closed after 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, and, and Clint wanted to eat, have dinner later than that, so I called ahead and I said, listen, would you mind if I brought Clint Eastwood in and you keep your kitchen open? Oh, yes, that'd be wonderful. So we drove up and uh, sat down, uh, had dinner, and two little honeys moved in from both sides trying to get Clint's attention. Well, as this one gal saw how close this gal was working on Clint, it turned into a major cat fight. They were just tumbling, just beating each other up, and Clint was just kind of taking it all in. So I, um, it, when, when the fight was over, uh, Clint picked the loser up. It's actually the pretty of the two girls. Picked her up, stopped dancing with her, and then he came up to me and he said, listen, Jack, keep uh, the car here for a while. Uh, I'm gonna dance her out the back door, and then everybody will think I'm still here. And I said, now, don't forget, we have interviews tomorrow morning, some radio, television interviews. No problem. Well, the next morning, no Clint Eastwood, so I knocked on the door. He was there, so was his little girlfriend. I know on, on at least two different years, uh, he had come up to our suite after the deal, and, you know, we'd sit around having drinks with him, just talk about the film business, and he was, uh, he was a very nice guy. And he was just one of the fellows that had made it kind of big, but who was still friendly and down to earth with those of us who were still in the business with him. And Clint would always manage to leave with a young lady because he was, you know, he was Clint Eastwood. 